At the December press conference where FC Dallas introduced their new head coach, Luchi Gonzalez, I, along with many other reporters, was granted a little one-on-one -on -one time with the new head coach. Rather than having a story get buried among the many other stories that came out that day, I decided to try something a little different. So here's a quick back and forth between myself and Luigi Gonzalez. Hope you enjoy. You talked a little bit about tactics and how you want to play. You didn't get very specific, which I understand a little bit. Um, would it be fair to say that if someone wanted a good, good, good feel for how you like to play, we could look back at your academy teams the last couple of years, or was that more dictated from the overall structure of the club coming down from the first team? Good question. Um, a bit of both. A bit of both. I think I've evolved into the club, and the club's evolved into me. Mm -hmm. So I think it reflects both. Um, and I don't think I would have started at the club if, if I didn't have some that in my core. Yeah. So all, all my experience has been here is, is that be, being stronger over time. Mm -hmm. So. Um, yeah, the, the academy plays a, a way, the teams that I've had the pleasure to coach or be around play in a way that I think uh, embody what, what we're going to uh, work hard to show here okay. uh, at the highest level. So, um, but it won't be perfect, and, but that's the beauty is of, of that is that it's not perfect and the game's not perfect, um, but we're going to strive for that. Yeah. We're going to strive for project perfection in, in training and, 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 and excellence in the games and because over a process of a game, the team that that is not perfect, but that that works to be um, and trains that way, can can reach the objective to win. Would you say that you have a tactical shape that is your preference for a, a shape, or do you uh, tend to change given game to game or circumstance to circumstance? Mm -hmm. Ooh, shapes are fluid. It's fluid. Uh, we could start with a 4-3-3, a three, three, but that's going to quickly go into a 4-4-2 four, four, at a certain moment based on where the ball is, who has it. That'll go into a 3-4-3 three, three at some point mm -hmm. based on who, where the ball is, who has it, 4-2-3-1. Um, I do like some base shapes, but I'm all about the shape changing. And literally when kickoff happens, yeah, yeah. the shape is going to change. But um, there's some base formations that I think uh, our roster uh, and our club and our style can have as a vehicle to, to show them the idea of the game. You've talked a little bit about uh, the idea that you would be doing staff recently. Have you had a chance to think about it ahead of time yourself? Did you have thoughts even when you were in the interview process of who you would, might be looking for? Or is it blank slate from today mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. now we go? Uh -huh. Good question. Uh, yeah, yes, we have to. It's part of what I do as a coach, as a, as a manager, as a director. You always have to think of the what ifs. Um, you know, being in your role, you have to commit and be the best in your role in this mm -hmm. club. And um, but, if we want our players to be on their toes, and we want our players to be adaptable, we have to be the same as a staff or as a coach or as a leader. So, yeah, those thoughts are always in my head, um, and I would want our staff to always have that same mentality. And uh, yeah, there's definitely been some some ideas um, in my head shared with the club uh, as this process. Uh, has, has gone on. Would it be fair to say that between you needing a staff and the USL side needing a staff that some trickle up might happen from the academy and that therefore lots of academy changes are going to be happening over the next few months? Is that a fair assessment from the outside? Uh, that's definitely a possibility. Um, that's not final, but mm -hmm. it's definitely a possibility. Um, so I believe that what well, we have done well, I think, in the academy is finding a good balance of fantastic candidates from outs and, and human beings mm -hmm. from outside the club that are in line with our philosophy yeah. and our ethics uh, and maintaining and developing our own. And I think, I think that balance has been important for as our academy has grown, because it used to be just two teams right. with just three or four coaches. <laughs> yeah, right? and now it's a lot more than now. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Now we've got a, mo a monster youth club, which is, which is very successful and, and developing and helping yeah. the game grow in this community. So in terms of that, that idea, yeah. You know, um, that's a definitely a possibility, um, but but certainly not not final. Um, but but we're working on it. Okay, thanks. Okay.